I put a new suspension on my Clark Jungle hammock. I'm going to show you how that works today on Tool Dude vs. Wild. This is my Clark Jungle hammock. This is the uh, stuff stack that comes with it. It's built into one of the pockets that hangs underneath the Clark hammock. It's pretty nice. Nice to have it there. Fits everything. I have uh, lots of stuff in here. Let me show you. And inside, I have my new suspension. I have my uh, Dutch hooks and webbing for tree straps. And uh, then I have the hammock itself and also the tarp. Let me show you how I set it up. And that's it. Huh, I enjoyed my trip. That didn't take long, did it? Now let me show you the features of this suspension. Check this out. Okay, first let's talk about the guy lines. I've got shock cord from the grommeted corners, just a loop of shock cord here, attached to some Reflectix cordage. Now at the stake end, I have a pressic knot attached to the guy line. See that there? Prusik knot attached to the guy line. Makes it real easy to slide this and make adjustments. Just, just loops over the top of the stake. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see this suspension. Okay, here's the head end of the hammock. I have an adjustable ridge line running across the top. It allows me to dial in uh, just the kind of lay that I get out of this thing. I have a uh, shock cord attached to a mitten hook on a prusik knot uh, that's tied to this ridge line. So I can slide this prusik knot and get whatever tension I want on this bug net. Let's start at the tree end and talk about this suspension. Okay, at this end I've got a one inch tree strap wrapped around the tree and secured with a Dutch buckle. These are made out of titanium, they're really good. Okay, you slide down the tree strap and you run into a Dutch buckle. This is a new invention by Dutch that allows you to replace a marlin spike with something that you won't lose. I'll do another video on that. Uh, this yellow zingit is just to mark the head end. Makes it easy for me to tell what's going on. I've got a uh, four foot whoopee sling. Custom length I made myself. Uh, it's plenty long enough. And then I've got a uh, Dutch beaner. Dutch beaner is connecting basically three things here. And because it's a Dutch beaner, I can always remove things as I don't want them anymore. I have a 25-inch uh, long chain link that I made out of uh, am steel. It goes through the gathered end portion of the hammock. And I've added a mitten hook on here just for, to be able to hang other stuff off of that if I want to. Okay, working across the top. This black line is uh, really the end of this tarp. Just clips over it, piece of cake. This orange line here is another whoopee sling that I'm using for an adjustable ridge line. I wanted an adjustable ridge line so that I could dial in the uh, comfort level of my hammock. It also gives me a place to attach the top of the bug net or the top of the hammock itself. I've attached the top of the hammock to the ridge line using a prusik knot made out of shock cord. And there's a mitten hook there. You can adjust this as you need to. Okay. Here's the other end. This is actually the bottom of the tarp clipped over the ridge line also to help keep it straight. Uh, Prusik knot at this end, attached to the top of the bug net at the other end of the hammock. And it's a whoopee sling. It is adjustable. It's pretty long because of this uh, where I had to put the, uh, the beaners out here. Yeah, same thing on the other end. Now, I've got the tarp at this end attached with a, one of the stock Clark bungee cords. It also goes to the beaner. Uh, because it's on the beaner like this, it makes it real easy. If I don't want to use this tarp, I can easily detach it from both ends. The tarp's gone. I can use a different tarp. Well, that wraps up the modifications that I've made to my uh, Clark Jungle Hammock, the model NX200 North American version. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
please press the like button and uh, maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com slash Tony. And uh, I want to thank you for watching and uh, go out there and hang. Take care. Peace out. Tool Dude, out of here. Did you guys see that beaver thing on my other video? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's up here somewhere. Whoa. Bye.